What's up, deckheads? Welcome back to NTG with me. It's the Gainswalker. Today we have another Magic 30 mixed up premiere draft because I'm having a lot of fun with it. And honestly, I'm having more fun with this than I am with the Lord of the Rings set. So we're going to continue with this. And let's see what we can build. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Fairly new channel. Free to play player. Really does help me grow. Please go ahead. Consider hitting that like button and definitely subscribe. Let's do it. Okay, let's see. Sanguine Spy, 3-drop Menace Lifelink. It's a 3-drop 2-3 Menace Lifelink. Okay. Sack another creature, surveil 1. Beginning to end step if there are 5 or more mana value among cards in your graveyard. You may, you may pay 2 life if you do draw a card. Interesting. That could be very good. Go ahead and we'll click that for now. Anything else in this pack that looks good? That 4-5 Hexproof Turtle looks amazing. Mulch? Oh, man. I remember people using this card. Reveal the top four of your library. Put all lands revealed this way into your hand. The rest into your graveyard. It's very good for a mono green. Uh, any deck with landfall, that's really good. A braid, good removal here. A lot of good stuff. But we're going to stick with Sanguine Spy because that looks like a lot of value. And then we got a three drop add Simic. Ooh, good rob and good card. All right, let's see what we can do. Teen of Iteration. A wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes an ETB. Oh, sorry, triggered ability of a permanent. Does it again. <coughs> That's cool. That is a rogue vampire. Sawblade, Scamp, Haste, 1-1, one, one. Oil Counters, re Remove, does damage to each opponent. Eh, it's not that great. We're not going to be casting too many non-creature spells. <laughs> Crabs, we can make a crab deck. Looks like there's plenty of that going on. Crab and Turtle. Hmm. This one makes a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Haste. And it adds plus one counters. The only problem is it's a 5 drop. I'm going to go with the rare for now. Draw three cards. Discard two. Unless you discard an artifact. Got Orzhov Logget here. So, mana ramp for Orzhov. It's pretty unique. Tower worker. I remember when this set came out, they had all the uh, assembly workers, and if you had them all in a draft, it was actually pretty neat. Terramorphic Expanse. Okay. Blade Banish, probably good. Phyrexian Warrior. I don't see any wizards, so none of that will help the other card. Sleeper Dart. Ooh, that could be useful. Alright, well... I guess we'll go with Blade Vanish, and this will be like an Esper deck for now. At least until we can figure out what we're doing. Ooh, for Mirrodin, and it's the flying one. Creatures you control that are equipped get plus one, plus zero. Alright, so maybe we switch it up and do an equipment deck. Could do that. Bushwag. This is a pretty solid trample one drop because by turn four you're swinging with a four four trample. And whatever else you've had on the board, that's actually pretty good. I'm either going to go hex gold, hover wings, or bushwag. But I think I, I just really like the flying because that's a three two flyer. That's so good. Um, yeah. Um, we'll do that. What else can we get? <laughs> Whenever this attacks, untap another target creature you control. That is not a bad mechanic. Ooh, 1-1 one, one flyer, scry. Every time you cast a artifact, legendary, or saga. That's pretty cool. 
So there's definitely in this pack at least rotation, uh, like a, a blue artifact, uh, kind of equipment kind of thing. Uh, there's definitely some sack creature. Haven't seen that many uh, wizards or anything like that playing off the card that I got. But there's also definitely a mono green thing going. If we had done that, we would have had an amazing deck already. Two drop, one, two, two to tap. That's not bad. Shield counters. Mm. Draw three cards, proliferate. So if you're doing like a Simic thing, that would be even stronger. Riot enters with a haste counter or a plus one. Plus one. That's cool. Maybe we do like a Selesnia thing. I'm going to grab that for now. So Lesnia actually might be the way to go. Scry 2, gain 2, exile, return it. It's 2-2 two, two for a strike. Maybe. 6 drop, 4-4 four, four flyer. We won't be able to do poison counters. But that's still something to look at. Sacrifice the treasure, express becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Ooh, so if we had a way to get treasure tokens, maybe make it like a Naya deck? That's so tough. Alright, 4-4 four, four flyer. Yeah, that 9-9 nine, nine doesn't untap easily, that's why I didn't grab that. Flying training, okay, I like that. Fog of War is great. Game one life for each creature. Prevent all combat damage. Oh, it's only three or less. Ah, thought that was the one that prevents all combat damage. Giant Growth. That's a good one. Very solid combat trick. A lot of people underestimate that, but it does make a big difference. You just gotta know how to use it. Ooh, Gruel Locket. Not so much the second ability, but just a turn three ramp is pretty solid. I believe this is back to the first pack. Might want to go for that double land. Whenever this creature mutates. Oh, I forgot about mutate. That's so cool. All right. We'll, th we'll think about it. Nah, I'm going for the land. Ooh, maybe we go Naya. ETB gain one life for each creature you control. Four drop, two, four. That's not worth it. I'm going to grab the dually land just in case we go that way. Terramorphic Expanse, sure. Mana fixing. Try to get it early. What is this? Plains, Island, or Swamp? Mm. Survive Sabertooth. Cool. I'm going to go with the Luxodon. And Incriminate. Okay. Next one. Enigmatic Incarnation. 4 drop. Beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an, another enchantment. If you do, search the library for a creature card with mana value 1 plus and put it onto the battlefield. Hmm. That's cool. Kind of like a, a Simic style birthing pod. I don't know if we have many enchantments. I haven't seen that many removal. Plus, if you had those and you remove them, you're just creating bigger problems. This has double strike if you have a dinosaur. That's cool. Plus one, plus zero, draw a card, maybe. This one 
this one a, a goblin tribal card, so I guess we'll just go with that. Surveil to choose an instant or sorcery, that's not very helpful. Ooh. Conclave Cavalier. 4.44 Vigilance creates two two twos when it dies. And then a Convoke Vigilance. I like that. Alright, so we'll grab the Cavalier. On the way back around, we'll try to grab Blossoming Sands or the Centaur. Either one. I'm trying to see what else. This uh, Weirding Wood, that could be good too. Double up lands. Uh, mana producing. Idyllic Tutor. This is a 3 drop. Search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Do I have any? Let me switch over here so you can see the curve. I do not. No enchantments. <clears throat> Ooh, Blinding Fog. That's a better one. Prevent all damage will be dealt to creatures this turn. My creatures get Hexproof. Instant speed for three. That's definitely going to be one of our six. Four drop, add two mana of different colors. That's some ramp for you. Storm the Citadel. Five drop. Until end of turn, creatures you control get... Plus two, plus two, whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Planeswalker, destroy that artifact or enchantment, depending. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Hmm, not as good as I thought it would be. Three drop, two, three, pumpable. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature or planeswalker, put it in your hand. If you don't, put it on the bottom of your library. Hmm. Commune with dinosaurs, okay. Uh... I don't know if we have dinosaurs. We don't. Alright, so I'm gonna go with the 3 3 for 4. I think that's a better option there. Strength of Solidarity, plus one, uh, plus one counter on it for each creature in your party. So that does help us with the whole wizard thing. It's like wizard, uh, Cleric, Rogue Warrior, I think is what it is. Hex Favor. This one's more artifact style, leather armor, cool. Ooh. Enchant creature can't block for one. No, it still can attack. But, that's not bad. Enchant creature control. Uh, ETB draw card. Plus one, plus zero trample. Oh, okay. I like that. Plus one, plus one counters on Merfolk. We don't have a Merfolk deck. Haven't seen much of that, in all honesty. One, two, ETB investigate. Completed a dungeon. It gets double strike. That's pretty hard to do. Ooh, four drop, gain control of target creature. Those are nuts. Cleric class. Uh, if you gain life, gain another. Whenever you gain life, put plus one, plus one counter, and then uh, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. This is a 3-2 flyer, ETB gain four life. I'm going to go with Cleric class. I don't know if we can get some life gain going, but we could. Boros Guildgate, baby. <laughs> kind of like that Ranger, though. 4-1. It's 5 drop, though. That sucks. Uh, it has reach and has, it creates a 2-2 two -two when it enters, but aside from that, I don't think it's that great. Double strike, dinosaur, we saw that. Plus three, plus two, vigilance. 
At, at this point, I think that kind of an enchantment might be good, just because it'll help push the game, like, make something stronger, something strong even stronger, especially a flyer, get some damage in that way. I'm going to go with mana fixing at this point. Let's see what our, uh, we're pack two, 11 creatures. Target creature can't block this turn. It's pumpable. That could be useful. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess puzzle not. <laughs> Inventor's goggles. Equip creature gets plus one, plus two. We don't have artificers, but it's it's something. It's something that'll last multiple turns. Um, plummet. Take heart. Target creature gets plus two, plus two. Ooh, nice. Chrome host seed shark. This one's pretty interesting. Whenever you cast an odd creature, uh, incubate X, where X is that mana value, that's pretty solid. It's not as good as the shark that creates other sharks that are flying. Uh, Arcanist Owl. That could be useful to pull those enchantments that buff our creatures. What else we got? Two drop mana producing crocodile with flavor text. Um, ooh, an adventure card. Shark creature, plus two, plus zero. It's a 3-1 that can't block. Kite sail. Always solid. Ooh, Tuscadon. Almost missed that. That's the that's one we had last time that did really well. You may have this... Uh, you may exert it when you do untap all of the creatures. Ooh. That could be very useful. Not seeing much else in this pack. Yeah, we're gonna grab that. Oh, there's the five drop exile. This one's popular. But I'm gonna go with the, the champion. Tapping at the window. Look at the top three, put a creature in your hand. Rest in your graveyard. That's that's a little disappointing. Um, Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, gets plus two, plus two, okay. Flash flying, ETB. Bounce something, okay. I like that one drop. It's got lifelink, and it... The lifelink could help if I have the cleric thing out. I think that's the one. We'll do that. Port and tracker. I like that one. On tap lands. So if we had a way to double up lands, we could do that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll grab that just to have that creature count 16 getting low or getting getting close. Oh, Ranger's Gal? So good. Plus one plus one hex proof until end of turn. Uh, we got a unicorn we got a couple unicorns over here. Create a 2 2 knight. It's got vigilance 3 3 for 5. Mm. Exile, target creature with power greater than your life total. That's useful, but like way late. You don't want to go that far. And create more knights. Yeah, Ranger's Gal for sure. Target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 against flying until end of turn. Eh. Let's get some more lifelink out there. Alright, what is this? 4 drop, 4 2, ETB, deals X damage to any target where X is the greatest number of creatures. 
that have a type in common. It's a giant wizard. I'm gonna go with the lifelink. <clears throat> Flash, create another human. Those are pretty solid. Early game. Impede momentum's great. 6 4 for 6 that has cycle. That could be good. Just because it's a beast. Literally. <laughs> I'm going to go with the token production. Oh, Vigilance Menace. And Idyllic Grange. Meh. Alright, definitely going with the... Was that a sloth? <laughs> Guide Sail. Pretty solid card. Uh, as long as you control an artifact or enchantment, Flutter Fox has flying. Never mind. Let's go with Creature Base. Seven drop, seven six, trample. Uh, when it dies, deal seven damage to a creature and opponent controls at random. Okay. That'll be an interesting... Uh, do I swing against this kind of card? Now, I know there was that lesson in there where you could exile non-land permanent, but I... I, I prefer creature base. Six drop, five... Why does it want me to get a one one blue? I'm clearly not doing it. Shackles of Treachery, 3-drop, gain control target creature, untap it. Those are so powerful. And then Raid, Swagger, ETB with a plus one if you if you swing. Not that great. Blazing Hope. I guess we grab that now. Gain control target creature. Ooh, one drop that becomes... Uh, that Gargoyle probably would have been better. Alright, so, definitely going Naya. Got a lot of good stuff for that. <clears throat> Alright, first thing we always do, remove everything we're, the, we're not going to play. Remove all the non-creature spells. Look at the creature list. Skim it down to about 17. 17 is minimum. And then, throw in the non-creature spells that complement. 19. Ooh, we cut it real close. So I could just keep all those. Um, let's take a second to see what we have. Candlelight, Vigil, Vigil. Plus 30, plus 2, Vigilance. That could be useful. Hex Gold. Don't want to forget about that. Alright, so if we did Hex Gold. Cleric, Take Heart, 3. Four, five, and then one of these. And that would be six. And that'd be pretty solid. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little leaning against is Take Heart and Cleric Class, because I'm playing off of Lifelink with those. And while that could be very useful, it's very rare that you'll get that combination, like turn one. So you don't want to play off something like that. Uh, Blazing Hope seems good. Just because... Well, it's only getting rid of one creature. Maybe we do this. Maybe we do... Demotion. Creature can't block. So that that way... We can swing through like a Death Touch. Or like a really big Defender. Something like that. So like one, two, candlelight vigil, that could help. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that might be worth it. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of two more. Cinderheart, sure, it's a seven, six trample. This is a six drop. 5-5 five, five, ETB Scry 2. It's close to vanilla, and it's got a little something, so I'm going to say that's fine. 
four four flyer for six that's rough we've got double mana of like everything but we do have a lot of mana fixing so we should be all right looks at online breaker three drop three two but it does nothing else so we'll get him out two drop three one does nothing else curve is at a three nine <laughs> that's so spicy Fabricate when this creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on or create a one one servo. Hmm. What's that? I think that's Kaladesh. Is that? Alright. We know we're putting in hex gold. We know we're putting in this. I need four more. Plus two, plus two. One life for each creature you control. <laughs> hmm. Enchant creature gets plus three plus two and has vigilance. Kind of like that for four. Three more. Um, shoot, at this point, might as well try to do the all three of the game control target creature. Do we have artificers? We have one. Meh. I think those are probably the better move, just because that's such a powerful thing to do, especially if you're building up a board state. Curve is 3.7, which is really tough. That's way higher than I like to do, but I think it'll be fine. We got 17 creatures, 17 lands. Curve, definitely high, but uh, let's take a look at those mana symbols. We don't have any doubles until turn four. So we need double forest before we need double plains and double mountain. So we really wanna put emphasis on forest. Let's see what it's done. It gave me the most emphasis on mountain, which is weird, but let's see why. So we've got five, six, seven red producing, eight if you count Terramorphic Expanse. Um, Four, five, six, seven, eight. So mountain and plains are the same. And then I would expect to see forest have more because of those. Well, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven, seven, eight. No, that's fine. Totally fine. And then let's pick a card for our deck box that looks cool I like the landscape on that one is 
the sloth, though. <laughs> if only your opponents could see that. Tenth district veteran. That looks kind of cool too. I like the armor. All right. We are going to roll with this. That is the build. I do appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see how it turns out, check out the other video. As always, watch these games, get those gains, and walk those planes. Until next time, deckheads, keep it easy.